so I will implement this expression using NAND gates only uh, so what I can do here is first I will have to readjust the expression rewrite the expression basically so since I want to use just NAND gates I will have apply De Morgan's theorem so I will do this one both and then as a result applying De Morgan's theorem I can write like that so W prime Y prime NAND gate X Y Z NAND gate then here C prime NAND gate and then X prime Y Z prime NAND gate so this is the expression after applying uh, De Morgan's theorem so what we see here is this can be implemented so let's say we have only these things available w x y and z so we can't we need to have y prime x prime those things we also have to implement we don't have them let's say so that can be done using uh, one NAND gate two input NAND gate so if we do let's say x and x here in a NAND gate it becomes x prime because x and x this is basically x bar x prime or x bar whatever uh, here it's x bar anyway so so we have like that i actually have used uh, here this one inverse invert is written as prime but i have used uh, a bar as well so hope it doesn't confuse uh, make any confusion so here we have uh, this is what we have now so what we can do here is if we say we s definitely can implement this one using NAND gates only the question is how many NAND gates do we need so we need to need to develop y uh, w prime y prime um, x prime and z prime all of them so that we can use that we can do using four two input NAND gates and then we can have this one implemented this whole thing may I will use a different color maybe this whole thing I can implement using one NAND gate this thing can be using implemented using one NAND gate this thing and then finally one four input NAND gate so if we talk about uh, talk talk about this in terms of ICs uh, one two input NAND gate IC will have four gates there so one two input I see two input I see will have four gates basically and so you don't have to write one just two input uh, gates have four I four I see has four gates similarly we have three input I see three input NAND gate I see that will have three gates and then four uh, four input which we need for the final one that has two gates so that's fine so the number of gates we need is we need to implement all these bars or inverts we need four gates because there are four of them uh, four is enough because this z bar comes twice so we can just implement that once and then that's it so that there we need four input four two input gates so one two input NAND gates is already occupied now the, the NAND input IC sorry one IC is already occupied then we need another IC to implement this one so another two input IC so basically we need two two input NAND gate IC um, I don't know I can write two input IC NAND gate basically all NAND gates there all NAND so two of them then in to implement the uh, these three basically sorry these three we need there are there all of them are three input so we need just one three input NAND gate IC because we just need three gates here one gate to implement that one gate to implement that and one gate to implement that so one sorry three input IC three input IC just num one of them one 
and finally to implement the whole thing we need another 4 input IC and so 1 4 input IC so this is the thing 4 input NAND gate all of them are NAND gates so that's what we need I haven't drawn the diagram because I think it is uh, should be possible to draw so here we have uh, it will be very clumsy so I'm not drawing I did a uh, similar video previously and I will put the link here the link of the previous one so I am not sparing myself of drawing the from drawing the the clumsy diagram but it is it's probably obvious that it's drawable and what I have done here is I have tried to uh, state how many ICs and what kind of how many uh, what kind of ICs we need all are NAND gates of course but two input uh, NAND gate IC three input NAND gate IC and four input NAND gate IC that's we need all of them to implement that uh, so yeah